Good afternoon and welcome to Hannah Field. We have got uh, junior varsity football coming up here this afternoon right here on the Highlander Activity Network is Valley City. The junior varsity getting ready to take on the Rough Riders of Grand Forks Red River. Final game of the regular season for the, for the uh, Highlanders. Looking to go undefeated in the 2021 season. 7-0 and oh on the air for the Highlanders. So looking to uh, complete the season undefeated here in junior varsity football. Highlanders, of course, in their dark blues with the white numerals and Red River in the white tops, black pants, red helmet. And the Highlanders going up from right to left. Bryson Heck has the ball teed up, and we are just about set ready for football here on the Highlander Activity Network. Our final game here from Hannah Field on this Monday night football, if you will. And Heck approaches, and we are underway. A low line drive kick taken at the 24-yard line. They'll cross the 30-35, and the Riders will get out to the 40. And it'll be first and 10 for Red River at 40-yard line. Dylan Hunt there leading the way in the tackling along with uh, Parker Amon for uh, Valley City. The Riders will have it first and 10, starting at the 40. Valley City defensively, short Victoria Sanchez. She's on the sidelines, not starting here this afternoon and not playing matter of fact is just in jersey so she is out today she's had a couple of interceptions of this season for valley city so the riders starting first and 10 from the 40 pitch to the wide side and trying to cut the court at the 40 yard line knocked out of bounds there damian modlin knocked him out across the 40 to the 41 gain of a yard there it'll be second down and nine George Straub, the defensive coordinator for the Highlander JV, have pitched four shutouts this year in their seven wins. From the 41-yard line, second and nine. Hand off onto the inside across the 45, far side to the 50. That's going to be a first down for the Riders. Gain of nine. It'll be first and ten for Red River. And Red River fans, if uh, you are tuning in here this afternoon... I have, uh, did not receive a roster here from uh, Red River. Do apologize. Hopefully, maybe even get that before we are wrapped up here. From the 50 yard line, a first down and 10. Hand up, get inside the 50 down to the 45. Pickup of five yards. Brings up second down and five. Eight minutes, 45 seconds. Clock ticking. We're in the first quarter. 10 minute quarters. Actually, they'll mark it down to the 46. Gain of four, second and four. Back to pass. Rolling near side. Dumps it off. Complete. And right there defensively, Valley City coming up. Will Schwer with the big defensive play. And that might be a loss of a yard. Let's see where they're going to mark it down. They will put it down back to the 47-yard line. Loss of one. And it'll bring up a second down and seven for the Riders on the near hash from the Re Valley City 47-yard line. And off onto the inside of the 45 and getting it inside the 45 down to the 42. Gain of five yards brings up third down for the Rough Riders. They need to get to the 36. We'll call it third and six from the 42. Two receivers in the slot to the left. Inside hand up. And that's going nowhere and that's going to be a loss. Ran into his own man. And dropped at the 45-yard line, then covered up by Dylan Hunt. A loss back to the 47. Will bring up fourth down. And we'll call it fourth down and 11 from the 47-yard line. So they're going to go back in. Uh, are they going to go forward on fourth down? Fourth and 11 from the 47 for Red River. Again, no play clock. 7-10, clock ticking here in the opening quarter. Two receivers uh, to the left, one here to the near side. On the far hash, rolling out, looking to throw. Ducks and runs, being chased to the 45, covered up there by Dylan Hunt. He'll get down to the 43-yard line. And that will be a gain of four, but it will go over to Valley City on downs. So the Highliner defense holds, and they'll have it first and 10 from their own 43-yard line with 6 minutes, 57 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Bryson Heck will bring him up to the line of scrimmage. 
Two receivers far side, two here to the near side. Caden Amon, the lone setback in the pistol formation. Jerns gives to Amon. Amon breaking off that right side, gets close to the 46 or 44. And they'll give him a couple of yards on the pickup. Let's see where they mark it down after the 44 yard line. Gain of one. Brings up second down and nine from the 44 yard line. Highlanders first possession here in the first quarter. Six and a half minutes to go. No score. Two receivers far side. Two here to the near side. And the pitch wide side goes to Damian Modlin. Modlin to the 45. Modlin across the 45. Flag on the play. He got across the 45 to the 47, but there is a flag down. That's going to be holding against Valley City. So the 10-yard 10, 10 walk-off will take him back to about the 35. So at the 35-yard line for the Highliners, they will face a second down and 18 from the 35. Bryson Heck gets the play calls from Uncle Aaron, the head coach and offensive coordinator. From the 35-yard line for Valley City, facing a second down and 18. Heck in the pistol. Churns pitches here to the near side, trying to cut the corner. That here to the near side, looking for running room, and he is going to be wrapped up, and Jonah Harstead is going to lose yardage back to about the 31, 32 yard line. Strung out nicely there by the Rough Riders. And they will mark it at the 33, a loss of two for Harstead. Well, that will bring up a third down and 20 for Valley City at their own 33-yard line. Here the near hash, 549 in the opening quarter, no score. Wide here to the near side, Modlin and Amon. Two receivers wide to the far side. Caden Amon, the lone setback, right behind Bryson Hick in the pistol. On a third and long, Bryson back to pass. Lobs one up there. It's up for grabs looking for Harstad. He makes a catch at the 45 to the 40. He's at the 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. That is a 67-yard pitch and catch. Bryson Heck to Jonah Harstad. No flags on the play. And the Highliners are on the board first with 5.16 to go in the opening quarter. 6 to nothing. 67-yard completion. Great concentration by Heck. The ball was tipped. But Jonah stayed with it. And now the Highliners off the foot of Bryson Heck, who's now been kicking extra points for the varsity. He's only missed one in the two weeks he's been kicking. Oh, a bad snap. And they, Colton uh, Griebel tries to put it down. He's covered up. So the kick will be no good. We come back up the field with 5.16 to go here in the first quarter. And your score, it's Valley City 6, Red River nothing. This is Highlander Junior High Junior Varsity Football on the Highlander Activity Network. So the Highlanders leading six to nothing on a 67-yard pitch and catch. Bryson Heck to Jonah Harstead. Now Heck will approach and the kickoff here. High, deep, end over end kick. And it's taken at the five-yard line. Return here to the near side of the hash mark to the 15. Trying to cut the corner at the 10, or at the 20, at the 25. And pushed out of bounds here at the near side by Dylan Hunt. So first and 10 now for Grand Forks Red River at their own 28-yard line. 
Five minutes, just a little over five minutes to go here in quarter number one, six nothing. Highlanders with the lead. The mention coming in seven and zero on the season. One game, then uh, the varsity plays. Wanford City didn't have a JV. Here's a handoff. Going to the far side. Across the 25 to the 30. 35. Cuts back inside and at the 40-yard line. Jamison Mutchler on the tackle there, leading the way for the Highliners. After a first down pickup. And see where they're going to mark it down at the 40. So on the 12-yard pickup, it'll be first and 10 for the Riders. No huddle for Red River. From actually the 39 after that 11-yard pickup. Hand off to the fullback across the 40 to the 45. Still on his feet to the 50. Head to the 45 in Highliner territory. And then wrestled out of bounds by, I think, all 11 Highliners on the far sideline. But another first down carry for Grand Forks Red River. And the Rep Rhinos will have it first and 10 in Valley City territory at the 43. Working off that far hash, 440 remaining here in the opening quarter, 6 0 Highlanders. From the pistol and up to the tailback, and that time coming up inside and making the play was uh, Schwer on the tackle. Will Schwer blew in there and uh, stopped that for a large yoss, uh, yard loss back to the 44. Brings up second down and 11. Two receivers here to the near side. One wide to the far side. From the 44 in the pistol. Second down play, bubble screen here to the near side. High and incomplete. It was a forward pass. Lance Luke, the headlines been here on the near side, made this call. So an incomplete pass brings up third down. Third down and 11 for the Riders from the Valley City 44-yard line. Empty backfield. Now they send the wingman in motion, and the pitch it hits the ground. He grabs it on the first bounce. He gets away from Modlin, but then is thrown to the ground for a loss there. Jonah Harston coming up with the tackle. After uh, slowing him down was Modlin. It'll be a loss of six back to the 50-yard line. So fourth down for the... Rough Riders. A fourth, and let's see, it'll be about 17 yards to go. Getting their 11th man out there. Amadlin is back deep to receive for Valley City. Three minutes, 18 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Fourth and long, punt formation. And the punt away, Wobbler, far side, and Modlin grabs it at the 20-yard line. Modlin here to the near side of the 25, and um, Damien will get out to the 30. 10-yard return after a 30-yard punt. And so the Highliner offense back on the field, first and 10, with three minutes and three seconds to go here in the first quarter, leading at six to nothing. At the 30-yard line, Bryson Heck, 5'11", freshman, 135. He'll bring him up to the line of scrimmage. They'll send one receiver far side of the field. And the snap, handoff, goes to Caden Amon, and Amon gets out across the 30, to about the 31, maybe 32. Mike at the 31-yard line. Gain of a yard. Brings up second down and nine. Last drive went three plays. 66 yards. A 67-yard touchdown pass from Heck to Harstead. From the 31-yard line. 2.28 to go. Clock on the move. Now a timeout taken by Valley City. So the Highlanders will take a timeout. 2.26 to go here in the first quarter. 6 nothing. Highlanders with the lead. Back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network.
As we come out of the Highlander timeout, it'll be first and ten, or check ten, and nine for the Highlanders from the 31-yard line. Bubble screen far side to Harstead. Harstead trying to cut the corner, gets out across the 30, and that was stuffed out again by the Riders. What do you get ahead of the 34-yard line? Gain of three. And that will bring up a second down to the 34-yard line. The third down, third down and six. From the 34. Here's Heck. On the carry, Harsett back the other way in the counter. Harsett's got the first down across the 40, out to the 45, and Jonah Harsett will get across the 45 to the 46. 12-yard carry for Harsted. And that'll be another Highliner first down with 1.30 remaining in the first quarter. They'll have it first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Harstead now a couple of carries for 10 yards and a couple of receptions for 70. At the 46. Now send model in motion. Amon gets the handoff and Gaten will get out to the 49. Picks up three yards. Second out and seven at their own 49 yard line. Heck again goes to the sidelines, gets the play call from Coach Aaron Heck. So they come up to the line of scrimmage, facing a second down and seven at the 49 yard line. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Amon the lone set back behind Heck. Harstead now comes in motion. And up goes to Amon. Amon going off the left side. And Caden Amon powering his way. He's going to have the... Oh, he's going to be about a yard short of the first down. Caden Amon kept plowing his way. 5'6", 145, but a very hard runner. He'll get to the 45-yard line. Picks up six. Brings up third and one. And that's going to do it for the first quarter. We've got uh, 10 minutes in the books and your score at the end of one quarter of play. It's Valley City 6, Grand Forks Red River nothing. Back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network. As we get ready to start quarter number two, Valley City leading six to nothing. And they are faced with a third and one at the Red River 45 yard line on the far hash. Now Heck will be under center. I'm on the lone setback. Heck will take it himself. Puts his head down. Oh, boy. Now there's a second effort by Bryson Heck. And the fumble. And I think the Highlanders did fall on it. He was trying to get that second effort. And he will get the first down to the 43-yard line. Trying to get fight and get that one yard. And he will pick up two. The ball came out, but the Highlanders did recover. So first and 10 for Valley City from the 43-yard line. As they now work from left to right here as we uh, 
go in quarter number two. Half minute gone. Two receivers left, two receivers right. I'm on the lone setback. In motion, Modlin. He gets the pitch. Modlin will get wrapped up as he gets inside the 40. Gets down about the 38. Picks up five yards. Uh, we'll bring up a second and five for the Highlighters from the 38-yard line on the near hash. The offensive coordinator from the varsity, Chad Smith, sitting in the stands. Looking at probably some kids he's going to be calling plays for next year. Head coach Scott Rourke here as well. Last game of the regular season for the JV. Hand up to Amon, and Caden takes it into the 35 again. Second effort. He's going to be very close to another Highliner first down at the 33 yard line. It looks like it may be about a half a yard short, maybe the nose of the football short. So he needed to get to just inside the 33. So it brings up a third and short. Model in motion. Amon gets the handoff, and oh boy, it depends on the spot. I don't know if it's left foot, right foot. It'll depend on the spot here. I think they might have the first down by the nose of the football. Now they're going to measure. So they will bring the chains out. And measure this. And the chains on the far side. they got to bring them all the way across to the near hash. And we'll see if they did get that first down. It looks like the where they have it spotted, just a shade inside the 33 should be enough for that first down. As they put them down, stretch the chains, it is an up for a Highliner first down. So first down on the carry, it'll be first and 10 for Valley City at the Red River 33-yard line. Seven minutes, 49 seconds left to go here in quarter number two. Highliners leading at six to nothing. And they come up to the line of scrimmage. We'll have receiver wide here to the near side. McMenamin, Harsid's in the slot. I'm going to split wide to the far side, as is Modlin. Now back to pass, Heck, looking to throw. Now steps up. He is going to be wrapped up and sacked for a loss. Back to the 36-yard line. So that will be a loss of three yards for Heck. A sack back to the 36. We'll bring up second down. And 13. Approaching seven minutes to go here in quarter number two. Again, same umbrella lineup with receivers wide both sides. Here comes a counter back to the way with Harstad. Oh, and that was blown up in the back. And Harstad got away from the initial tackle and then nearly lost the football. Brought down, though, for a loss back to the 41-yard line. That will be a loss of five. From the 41, it'll be third down. And let's see, we'll call it 18, third and 18 from the 41 yard line. The perfect night for football, a little bit of win. Good crowd from Red River in attendance here tonight too, make them some noise for their defense. From the 41 yard line. Heck, back to pass. Here comes the pressure, throws, got his man complete at the 30, at the 20, and fumbling the football. Parker Amon lost it. It's picked up by Red River, and Red River will have it on the far side. It'll be a first down. Parker Amon had the reception at the 30-yard line. It was enough for first down, but then that extra effort and lost it. And Red River recovered, 
And we'll take it to the 29-yard line, so it'll be first and 10 for Red River. After about a 21-yard pickup, Mark Rahman had the first down with the catch and then started up field. Second effort lost the football. And so now the Riders will have it first and 10 from their own 29 with 5.52 to go in quarter number two. Six nothing advantage to the Highliners. Now so what they are discussing something on the far side. I think they want to get the chain set. There we go. From the 29, first and 10 for Red River. First possession here in quarter number two. Inside handoff, bounces to the outside to the 30, 35, and out across uh, close to the 40 and the first down marker. Looks like he say he stepped out of bounds at the 48. Or at the 38, pardon me, gain of nine. Second and one from the 38, 28. 38. I can't remember which eights it is. Tegan, help me out here. Inside handoff. There's the first down. Fullback takes it across the 40. Out to the 42. So pick up out to the portal market at the 43 yard line. Pick up of about five. So it'll be first and 10 for Red River. At the 43 yard line. In the pistol, here's a quick pitch to the inside across the 45 to the 50 and down into Highlander territory, almost a shovel pass. And that probably will go down as a shovel pass to the back coming across. There will be a pickup to the 50-yard line. And brings up second down and three. And a gain of seven. From the three, or from the 50, and then that's gonna be a first down carry. Down to the 45, pick up a five yards there. So it'll be first and 10 for Red River. The ball marked at the Highlander 45 yard line. Now quarterback keep here to the near side, trying to get to the outside, trying to cut the corner. He is gonna be wrapped up and brought down at the line of scrimmage. And again, that was Will Schwer along with Damian Modlin, but Parker Amon was a, could have had him back at around the 50. Go well, back to the original line of scrimmage, brings up second down and 10. Right at the 50-yard line, 4.25 to go here in quarter number two. Six-nothing, Highliners. Handoff, far side, inside the 40, quick tackle there. Again, Will Schwer and McMenamin on the tackle for Valley City. So inside the 45, back to pass on a third and long. Setting up, throwing far side and complete. Inside the 30 and then out of bounds around the 27 yard line. On a third and long, they go into the air. And that will be another first down for Red River. From the 27 yard line. In Highlander territory. Off the handoff, and not much there. Maybe a yard, possibly two. Down to the 25. Dylan Hunt getting off the pile last for Valley City. We'll say gain of a yard to the 26. Second down and nine. Three and a half minutes to go here in quarter number two. Highlanders lead six to nothing. Red River after the fumble recovery on the move from the 25. A little serpentine his way inside the 25 and gets down to the 22. Picks up four. Again, no huddle here for Red River. To the 22-yard line, brings up a third down and four. 
Back to pass. Quick slant and incomplete. Might have heard the footsteps of Bryson Heck, who was ready to lower the boom. It'll be incompleted pass. And brings up fourth down and four. Line of scrimmage is for the 22. Fourth and four, back to pass. No, here comes the pressure, and down he goes with the sack. Jamison Mutchler coming up with the sack there for Valley City, and the Highlanders will take over on downs back to the 30-yard line. So the defense comes up with a big play. And they will take over first and 10. The Highlander offense will take over first and 10 from the 31. Leading six to nothing with two minutes and 51 seconds to go here in quarter number two. 67 yard touchdown pass from Heck to Harstead. From the 31. Two receivers far side, two here to the near side. Modlin comes in motion. Amon gets the hand up. No. He might lose the yard back to the 30 yard line. Loss of one for Amon. So to bring up second down and 11. And we've got a timeout on the field taken by Valley City. That's their second timeout. They got one remaining. Two minutes, 28 seconds to go here in the second quarter. It's a Highliner six and the Rough Riders nothing. We're back with more Highliner football on the Highliner Activity Network. Bob McDonald back with you. Tegan's on on camera. Boston Larson also in the house here tonight. The Highliners leading six to nothing. They're facing a second and 11 from their own 30 yard line. Bubble screen here to the near side. Harstead can't come up with it. And we've got a, I think a flag on the play that blew it dead. Ball start, Highliners. Second penalty on Valley City. So the five-yard walk-off back to the 25-yard line. will make it a second and 16 for Valley City from their own 25. 225 left to go here in quarter number two. Highlanders up 6 nothing. Here comes Modlin in motion. He gets the pitch to the outside and wrapped up and brought down for a loss back to the 22. So a loss of three yards there for Modlin. And that will bring up a third down. And now I think Red River is using one of their timeouts. And it'll be third and a whole bunch here for Valley City. Timeout taken by Grand Forks Red River. We're back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network.
It is third and long for the Highliners. From the 23, back to pass is Bryson Heck. Cox fires deep over the middle, intercepted at the 40. Back to the 35, 30, 25, and pushed out of bounds at around the 20-yard line. Uh, Looking for Harstead, he overthrew uh, Jonah. And the interception brought back about 20 yards. It'll be first and 10 for the Riders at the 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, it is first down and 10 for the Rough Riders. Down the line option, quarterback keep to the 20, to the outside of the 15, cuts back to the 10, and down to the 5-yard line. That'll be enough for a first down. It'll be first and goal to goal for Grand Forks Red River. Down at the 5-yard line for the Riders. 1.56, clock ticking here in this second quarter. On the inside handoff, and not much there. Maybe a yard to the four-yard line. Leading the tackling was Jameson Mutchler for the Highliners. Second down and goal from the four. Back to the inside handoff again on a second and goal. And another big stop there by the Highlander defense. Schwer, Hunt, and Marchler all there defensively for Valley City. I think McMenamin might have snuck in there as well. So from the five-yard line, third down and goal for the Riders. Uh, quarterback keep near side, and that is going to be blown up again by Mutchler, and he'll have the sack back to the 11-yard line. Jamison, that's the second time he's done that. So fourth and goal from the 10 for Red River. With 38 seconds to go, clock ticking here in the second quarter. Fourth and goal from the 10. Long count. Check the wristbands. As they get the signal from the sideline. And there's a whistle and a timeout taken by Grand Forks Red River. Nine seconds to go here in this... uh, Second quarter, it'll be fourth down and goal from the 10. Coming up at halftime, I'll let you know what's coming up here on the Highland Activity Network this week. And also take a look at the varsity football standings as far as playoffs are concerned. As Grand Forks Red River and the Highlanders playing Thursday. Of course, it's NDEA this week. And uh, they will be playing at Cushman Field at 6 o'clock on Thursday. And the uh, ironic part of it, the South Central game, which is important as far as the Highlanders are concerned, will be right before 2 o'clock Thursday afternoon at Cushman Field. So when the Highlanders hit the field for their game against the Rough Riders, they'll have a better understanding of what they need to do if they are to get into the playoffs. I believe if uh, Central, even if Central beats South, the Highlanders, I think bottom line, if they beat Red River, they are in. Well, we've heard that before. From the 10-yard line, nine seconds to go. It is fourth and goal for Red River. In the pistol. Rolling out, looking to throw, dumping, knocked away. That was Jonah Harstead that went up and knocked it down and then came down uh, oddly on his ankle, I think. And, but he'll be okay. But Harstead comes up the big defensive play. And the Highlander defense again, after giving it up on the turnover, will take over first and 10 from the 10. With five seconds to go here in this second quarter. So 
So they come up for the line of scrimmage. The Highlanders, more than likely just a straight handoff to Amon here to close things out in the quarter. Unless Heck takes a knee. No, he'll just take a knee. Take the four-yard loss and end the first half. So your score at halftime here from Hannah Field is Valley City 6 and Grand Forks Red River nothing. We're back with more Highliner football. This is uh, Highliner football on the Highliner Activity Network. Paul McDonald back with you here at Hannah Field. We are at the half. Valley City leading it six to nothing. The lone score came at 516 of quarter number one. It was a 67-yard touchdown pass from Bryson Heck to Jonah Harstead. And taking a look at the stats from the first half for Valley City, Caden Amon has carried the ball seven times and has 15 yards in the first half. Bryson Heck has carried it three times and minus five yards. And Harstead, he's carried it three times for five yards and also a couple of carries for two yards rushing in the first half for Modlin. Heck right now is three for four, does have that one pick, forgot to mark that down, does have the one interception that he threw right before the half. But three for four passing for 91 yards in that first half and have that uh, and that 67 yard touchdown pass Harstead has two catches for 70 and Parker Amon one catch for 21 but uh, Amon after that catch trying to get a little couple of extra yards and fumbled the football and the Riders did get it back but were not able to do anything when they got that turnover and again this last turnover off the interception uh, Highliners were able to stop them as they got with to the five-yard line and had a first and goal to goal from the five. But the Highlander defense uh, held strong again and uh, stopped the Riders and were able to take a knee to end the first half. 
Again, volleyball also is going on tonight here in Valley City over at the Highliner Activity Center as they are taking on Grand Forks Central tonight. JV going to be getting started here in just a few minutes. And the Highliner girls, of course, coming off last week, a tough week. They did go 1-1 one one last week, but a big win against Shanley, who at the time was ranked third in the state when they won against Shanley on Tuesday, nearly took care of number five ranked West Fargo Cheyenne. Had them down two games to nothing, but they're two sets to nothing, but Cheyenne was able to come back and win the last three and win it in five. We'll have more Highlander volleyball tomorrow night here on the Highlander Activity Network as they'll be taking on Fargo South. Again, it is pink out night here on Tuesday night. And again, proceeds will be going to the Sensha Health Foundation to help uh, fight cancer. We've got more volleyball against Red River coming up on, uh, or that's next week. Of course, being the short week because of uh, NDEA, just sports tonight and tomorrow, nothing Wednesday and nothing Thursday. Well, I was going to talk a little bit about the QRF as far as uh, Highliners and what uh, what it looks like for them here as far as the postseason is concerned, that we will talk about that in our postgame show or as we get a chance here. Riders will punt the ball or kick it off to get things started here in the second half. Kick long on the far side, and Valley City will just fall on it and out of bounds by Malachi Thompson at the 30-yard line. So that's where the Highlander offense will start first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Well, they'll mark it. Where are they going to put it down here? And we'll put it at the 30-yard line. So first in for Valley City at the 30-yard line. Now they back him up to the 28. Is where they'll finally put it down. 6 nothing. Highlanders with the lead. Two receivers right, two receivers left. And there's movement on the line of scrimmage. No flags. Play continues again. No play clock. Coach uh, Aaron Heck wanted an offside, didn't get it. Here and now there is a whistle. I don't see any flags unless it was thrown. So uh, we'll see what... Well, they are sending Bryson Heck to the sidelines. I don't know if he's got, yep, he's got a problem with his headgear. So Bryson Heck has to come out. So Colton Griebel is now coming in at quarterback for Valley City. 5'6", 110-pound freshman now in at quarterback. So Heck has to come to the sidelines. I think maybe he forgot to put his mouth guard in or something, but he is standing on the sidelines. Griebel in now in a quarterback from the 28-yard line. Hand off to Amon. And Kane takes it across the 30. And he'll get up to the... Well, will give him forward progress to the 32-yard line. And, yep, they'll give him forward progress. Gain of four. And now Bryson Eck back in. So, again, when you have an equipment problem, you have to come out for one play. And that's what Heck did. Griebel... It's nice and easy handoff to Kate Nauman for the yard pickup. Brings up second down and six. From the 32-yard line for the Highlanders. Model in motion. Now stops and comes back. Sets up in the slot here to the near side. Allison Harstead in motion. And inside handoff again goes to Kate Nauman. He has stood up at the line of scrimmage. Possibly a yard to the 33. So it'll bring up third down here for Valley City. Third and five from the 33-yard line. A little over a minute gone here in the third quarter. Highlanders leading it six to nothing. Well, as I mentioned, another ideal night, except for the one night we were supposed to play Wapiton where we had that monsoon. We've had great football weather, whether it's been JV, junior high, thunder, whatever we've had here. Tonight, 72 degrees right now, and it's the 18th of October. Here's a pitch to the near side. Harstead hit at the 30 and dropped at the 30-yard line. So Harstead will lose three yards on the play. And that will bring up fourth down. 
from the 31 yard line. Fourth and seven for Valley City. Heck will back, go back in punt formation. And to enjoy our weather today, because we're going to be back in a fall like weather, weather 50s and 40s as we head towards the weekend. Here's a high end of run punt. Nobody back for the Riders, so this is going to roll for a while. Inside the 20 yard line, inside the 15, and then falling on it. One of the Rough Riders should just let it go. One of the Rough Riders fell on it, but it'll be Rough Rider football down at the 13 yard line. That is a 56 yard punt and no return. They had nobody back deep. They were bringing the, everything but the kitchen sink. Heck got rid of it. And then one of the Rough Riders, for some reason, fell on it at the 14 yard line. From the four. From the 14, first down and 10 here for the Riders. First possession here, another shovel pass here to the near side and nothing doing there. Again, coming up defensively, Scott Roney on the tackle there for the Highliners. Roney had a good varsity game here on the Thursday night, or Friday night. Comes up with the play here defensively for Valley City. Loss of one down to the 13, brings up second down and 11. Again, the line of scrimmage, the 13-yard line. Offset eye, inside handoff, goes off to his slot back, and he'll get to the 15, picks up a couple yards, so third down coming up. Third and nine from the 15-yard line for Red River. Six minutes and 40 seconds, clock ticking here in quarter number three. Valley City leaning it six to nothing, trying to end the season undefeated. And trying to pitch another shutout. I think, I want to say five shutouts this year if they get this one. Still a lot of football left to go. Back to pass. Throwing near side. Tipped right at the last minute. Putting up that left hand and knocking it away was Will Schwer. And he'll bring up fourth and nine for the Riders. Well, the defense has been outstanding this year. And... Uh, Showing it again here tonight, George Straub, the defensive coordinator on the JV. So from the 15-yard line, they are going to punt the ball away. Highliner should get very good field position. Modlin is back standing at the Ryder 45-yard line on fourth and nine. Here's a high end-over-end kick. And it's going to hit and take a big-time Highliner bounce back towards the... Line of scrimmage, and it will be recovered there, and that's where it's going to be downed at the 27-yard line. So a 12-yard punt, no return. From the 27, it'll be first and 10 for the Highliners. Great starting field position. 6-11 to go here in the third quarter. Pitch. Modlin wrapped up, and he is going to lose a yard back to the 28. Well, the ground game... Really, when they've tried to go wide, hasn't been working. When they've gone up the middle, they've got four, five, six yards of pop with Caden Amon. The longest running play so far was a 12-yarder by Harstead in that first quarter. From the 28-yard line, second down and 11. 5.35 to go. Clock ticking here in the third quarter. Our final football broadcast of the season. If the Highlander football team does make the playoffs, more than likely it 
Let's, there's a uh, active conch will be on the road. From the 28, Arsted goes in motion. Option, heck, down the line, wrapped up, nothing doing. Absolutely nothing doing. Again, blown up in the backfield there by that defensive front for Grand Forks Red River. A loss back to the 34-yard line. So after losing a yard on the first play, they lost six more there. Heck has carried the ball four times for minus 11 yards so far. He has minus yardage. Harstead has four carries for two yards. Modlin has carried the ball three times for one yard. And right now, nine carries for 20 yards, the best, and that's Caden Amon. He's the lone setback. It is third and long here for the Highliners. From the 34-yard line in Red River territory, they need to get down to the 18, maybe the 17. Throwing over the middle, high ball tipped, incomplete. Parker Amon, the intended receiver. And it'll be incomplete. Uh, I see, no, I don't see a flag. So from the 34-yard line, this will bring up fourth down for Valley City from their own 34 with four minutes and 12 seconds to go in quarter number three. And now we have a timeout on the field. We'll step aside with four minutes and 12 seconds left to go here in the third quarter. Your score, it is the Highliner six and the Rough Riders nothing. Back with more Highliner football on the Highliner Activity Network. Four minutes and 12 seconds left to go here in this third quarter. Again, we're talking about the QRF, taking a look at the QRF, which is updated today. Bismarck St. Mary's right now is number one at 7-1 and one on the year. Their lone loss was to uh, Jamestown. Right now the Jays are number two at 6-2. and two. The week after Jamestown beat Valley City, they lost a tough 17-14 game to Mandan. But Jamestown still could be the number one team, and I'll tell you how in a moment. Here's the pitch near side. Harstead, he wants to throw back to Bryson Heck. He's going for the middle, and he makes the catch inside the 25, down to about the 22. But, oh, that was a floater, and Heck went up for it and came down with it. It's still going to be short of a first down, and so it will go over to Red River on downs. He did, it was just a floater there by Harstead, and Bryson Heck used some basketball skill to go up for it and came down with it. But still short on the first down. as They need to get to the 18, and they got to the 23. So it was actually a gain of 11. But now it'll be first and 10 for the Riders from their own 23-yard line. As we hit four minutes to go here in quarter number one. Out to the outside and pick up out to the 30-yard line. Tucker Johnson throws him out of bounds. Second down play coming up. Fargo North right now is number three along with Wapiton four, South five, Dickinson six, and then Devils Lake seven. And right now, Grand Forks Red River is in that number eight spot. Inside handoff on the second down from the 30. And out to the 35. That's going to be a rough rider first down, gain of five. We'll bring up first and 10 from the 35. Then Grand Forks Central, Valley City, Turtle Mountain, and Watford City rounding things out. And if the Highliners were to come up and win at Red River on Thursday, here's the pitch to the wide side of the 35 to the 40. And across the 40, staying inbounds and getting another first down out to the 48-yard line before being pushed out by Jameson Mutchler. 
another first down for Red River at their own 48-yard line with three and a half minutes to go, third quarter. If the Highlanders win, they would have the tie break, even if Grand Fork Central should uh, defeat South. They would have the tie break. Here's a hand on wrapping up there. Will Schwer comes up defensively. After a gain in the Highlander territory to the 47-yard line, pick up a five, brings up second down and five for Red River. And talking with uh, Coach Rorick and Athletic Director Mike Schultz here tonight, that seems to be the scenario. When you're in. On the line option, late pitch. Here to the near side, and again strung out by Valley City. Harstead coming up and helping out defensively there also was uh, Colton Griebel. And that's going to be back to the 48-yard line. Loss of one. Brings up a second down and 11 from the 48. Third down 11 from the 48. Option to the other side, this time a keeper. Out to the 45 and lunging forward close to the first down marker. Will Schwer covering it up. And I think uh, Christian Butler also got him by the ankle. So going to say his knee touched down at the 44. So it'll be fourth and two from the 44-yard line. Here's the bad snap. It's on the ground. It's still loose on the ground. Finally, Red River picks it up, and Will Schwer nearly has him. And Kate Nauman nearly has him. Now he throws one incomplete. That was an ill-advised pass, but probably saved a few yards by getting rid of it. And really didn't get back to the line of scrimmage, so I don't know if they can call that intentional grounding or not. But either way, it is going to be Highlander football. Again, Will Schwer blew that th up after the bad snap, and the ball was loose on the ground and then Caden Amon had a shot it'll be first and 10 for the Highliners from the 43 yard line and right now Jamestown is number two in that QRF if they should win and Bismarck St. Mary's is hugely upset by Watford City then Jamestown would be the number one seed otherwise St. Mary's would be on Jamestown too and if the Highliners do win on Thursday night and move up to that number eight spot, then they would travel to St. Mary's next week in the opening round of the playoffs. Hand off to uh, Caden Amon, and he gets a yard to the 45. Gain of a couple. We'll get two yards there for Caden to the 45-yard line. 22 yards now on 10 carries for Amon. So from the 45-yard line, second down and eight for the Highliners. A buck 30 to go here in the third quarter. Hayek turns, Amon hit in the backfield, wrapped up, and throwing down for a loss. A loss of one to the 44. Well, third down and nine from the 44. Red River's defense, after that touchdown pass, has just stymied the Highliners. I don't even want to know. From the 44, 6 nothing. Valley City leading, 44 seconds to go. Clock ticking here in the third quarter. It is third down and nine for Valley City. Receivers wide both sides of the field. Bubble screen here to the near side to Modlin. Modlin to the 45, to the 50. He's to the 45 and into Red River territory to the 40-yard line. It is enough for a Highliner first down. Brought down to the market down to the 41-yard line. 15-yard completion. And so Valley City will have a first down and 10 from the Red River 41-yard line, and that will be the final play of this third quarter. So your score through three quarters of football here from Hannah Field. It is Valley City 6, Grand Forks Red River nothing. We're back with more Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network.
as they get ready for the fourth quarter. Valley City leading it six to nothing. Highliners will have a first and ten from the Ryder 41-yard line. Two receivers here to the near side, two to the far side. Keaton Hammond, the lone setback. Heck gets a snap. Again, bubble screen far side. And a gain of a yard to the 40-yard line. Modlin again on the reception. Second down and nine coming up. Heck now five of seven for 107 yards passing. One of his two incompletions was intercepted. So only one of his passes has hit the ground. From the 41 yard line. Second down and nine. Or second and ten for the Highliners. You can say he actually got back to the line of scrimmage. Heck, now pit handoff. Here comes Colton Greenville back to the way to the far side to the 40, and Colton will get inside the 40 down to the 39. Greenville with the two yard pickup on that inside counter. We'll bring up third and eight from the 39. Minute 15 gone here in the fourth quarter. Valley City leading at 6 to nothing. A touchdown on their opening possession. Halfway through the first quarter, 67-yard touchdown pass from Bryson Heck to Jonah Harstead, and that has been it offensively. Red River had a first and goal from the five in the third quarter. Could not score. Highlander defense came up big. Here's the inside handoff modeling to the 40, and Damien will get to the 36. Picks up three yards on that counter. So fourth down coming up here for the Highlanders from the Red River 36. Fourth and five. And Bryson Heck talking with head coach, Uncle Aaron Heck. He'll bring him back and looks like they're going to go into punt formation and see if they can't pin him deep. Last time they punted the ball was a 56-yard punt and no one was back deep for Red River. Now looks like they are going to maybe have someone try to go back, but not very far. Here's the punt. High wobbler. And it's going to hit inside the 10 and down to the 5 and down at the 5-yard line. 31-yard punt and no return. So a couple of nice punts here by Bryson Hex. It'll be first and 10 for Red River. They have seven and a half minutes, three timeouts, and 95 yards to go, trailing six to nothing. Their offense has made some plays and moved the football nicely, but then at times... Highlander defense would, especially that front four, comes up big. as a pitch to the wide side. And as Scott Rodeo will come up defensively from behind and drop the runner for no gain. Second down coming up from the five-yard line. Working on the far hash mark for Red River. Again, volleyball going on tonight at the hack as they take on Grand Fork Central. Back to pass from the five. Rolling near side, dumps it off. Incomplete, throw it behind in the intended receiver. And it'll be an incompleted pass. Brings up third down and 10 from the five. Well, that ball, that ball actually goes off of the receiver's arm anymore. Bryson Heck was right behind and probably would have had a pick six. Back to pass. Rolling in the end zone. Looking, look, throwing downfield, and it is caught at the 29-yard line. Boy, there were two receivers there for Red River. And they can say incomplete. Now the official on the far side says incomplete, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Well, there were two receivers on that far side. And the, the receiver on the inside is the one that went up for it. I think if he lets it go, the one behind him catches it and goes all the way for a touchdown. But the inside receiver to try to come up with it had to go in the air, did not carry it all the way through, hit the ground and pop free. 
So it is fourth down from the five-yard line. Modland is back deep, standing right now at the rider 40-yard line. Now he'll be putting from his own end zone. So another big defensive stop here for Valley City. Low snap. And now he's going to try to get, he finally does the old rugby style kick and kicks it out of bounds on that far side at the 27, 6, 5, 4. He's still walking. 23 yard line. It'll be an 18 yard punt, no return. So the Valley City offense will come out first and 10. From the Rough Rider 23-yard line with six minutes and 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Highliners leading at six to nothing. And that touchdown pass with 5.16 to go in the first quarter. Heck to Harstead, our lone points. Now coming in motion, Modlin. Hand off, Caden Amon. Caught from behind, but he'll get down to the 30, uh, 21, gain of two. So down to the 21 yard line. Second down and eight for Valley City. Again, with no play clock, the Highlanders can take their time. 6.15 to go here in the fourth quarter. Bryson Heck turns, says something to his tailback. Two receivers here to the near side, two to the far side. Modlin in motion, gets the pitch. Modlin stumbles and falls at about the 23. So he's going to lose a couple of yards. Back to the original line of scrimmage of the 23-yard line. Brings up third down and 10. Again, good contingent of Red River fans here. Getting behind their defense, who have played outstanding tonight. Really, you take away that touchdown pass. The longest play outside of that 67-yard touchdown pass was a 21-yard completion. Longest run has been 12 yards. Greble in motion. Counter back to the way. Modlin at the 20, to the outside, to the 15, to the 10. He's going to have the first down and out of bounds at the 10-yard line. Damian Modlin picking up 13, so there's your longest run from scrimmage. 13 yards to the 10. And it is a first and goal from the 10 yard line for Valley City. Let's go, let's go, 19 yards now on six carries for Modlin. 23 yards on 11 carries for Cade Dahman. They're the only two in the, well, also uh, Colton Griebel did have that two-yard carry. Other than that, the other running backs and other runners have a negative yardage. From the 10, Amon in motion. Keep Heck, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage. So Bryson Heck kept it and got back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and goal from the 10. We have five minutes remaining here in this fourth quarter. And the varsity will be on the road at Red River on Thursday, 6 o'clock kickoff. Valley City and Grand Forks Red River at Cushman Field. The winner is in the playoffs. Pretty much bottom line. Modlin in the motion. Handoff on the inside and inside the five. I want to say that was uh, Jamison Mutchler on the carry. It was Jamison on the carry. So he'll get down to the three, gain of seven. So it is now third and goal for the Highliners from the three-yard line. Mutchler, the lone setback. Two receivers near side, two to the far side. Model in motion. Heck gives Jameson Mutchler on the carry. Gets down to the one, and that's about it. Now we're going to say actually the two yard line. Gain of a yard, so it'll bring up fourth and goal from the two for Valley City. Three minutes, 45 seconds, clock ticking here in the fourth quarter. 
Red River will have all three of their timeouts remaining when they get the ball back. And if they get a stop here, they'll have a long way to go to try to tie it. From the two, fourth and goal. Modlin started in motion, now goes back slot left. Heck turns, says something to Mutchler. Turns, gives Jamison up the middle. He is in for the touchdown. Jamison Mutchler takes it in from two yards out. And with 3.15 remaining here in the fourth quarter, the Highliners now make it a two-score game. And now they'll get the extra point. Guessing going for two. As it was a bad snap, and they did not get the kick off in the first extra point attempt. Much of the lone setback. Two receivers left, two receivers right. Now back in motion, Modlin. He gets the pitch back, and he is going to be thrown to the ground. And so the run failed. We come back up the field with 3.15 left to go here in quarter number four. It is Valley City 12 and Red River nothing. Back with the kickoff. This is Highlander football on the Highlander Activity Network. And the kickoff, short kickoff, is returned by the Rough Riders. Out across the 30 to the 33, 34-yard line. So now two scores down with 3.08 remaining. And Valley City, their defense has been stout all season long, trying to pitch another shutout. Back to pass, looking, he wants to go deep, airing it out down the middle of the field to the 15, or to the uh, 15 yard line on the completion. The ball comes free, but I think they're gonna say the ground caused the fumble and it was too deep for any officials to be downfield to see what happened, but the ground did cause the fumble. So the long completion inside the 15 down to the 13 yard line 54-yard pitch and catch. So first and 10 for Red River from the 13. Their biggest play by far of the night. On quarterback keep. He's got it at the 10. At the 5. Gets a block of the goal line. And he's in for the touchdown. So two plays. And just like that, Red River with 2.46 to go have punched one in. And now trail 12 to 6 with the conversion pending here. Quarterback is also hobbling a little bit. And they will go for two. There's a throw into the end zone, and it is incomplete, so the pass failed. So with two minutes and 46 seconds to go, it's 12-6, Valley City with the lead. Uh, now, do you wonder if they go onside kick coming up, or if they kick it away and see if their defense can pin Valley City deep. So it'll be 
Kickoff again from the 40-yard line. So we'll see what they do. All the Highliners have the good hands people on the field. There's nobody past the 30-yard line right now. Now slowly Modlin will back up a little bit. He's standing at about the 25. With 2.46 to go. If they go with the onside or kick a knee. Here's the approach. And it's a line drive short kick near sideline. And it is still in bounds. Modlin will pick it up at the 18. Gets out across the 20 to the 25. And Damian Modlin will get out to about the 28-yard line. So the Highlander offense will come onto the field with 2.46 left to go here in this fourth quarter. Actually, the clock I don't think moved at all. But with 2.46 to go, it'll be first down and 10 for Valley City at the 28-yard line. Again, both teams, or the Highlanders actually, I believe, have two timeouts remaining. Riders have all of theirs. So they come up to the line of scrimmage from the 28-yard line with 2.46 to go. Two receivers left, two receivers right. How much of it comes in motion? Caden Amman gets the handoff. He'll get across the 30, out to the 31. He'll pick up three yards. Second down and seven. And the first time out taken by Red River. With 2.39 remaining. So they will have two timeouts left to go. So it'll bring up a second down coming up here for the Highliners. We'll call it second and seven. The line of scrimmage is their own 31-yard line with 2.39 left to go. So the Riders again will two timeouts remaining come out of the huddle. From the 31 yard line, second down and seven for Valley City. Caden Amon back behind Heck in the pistol. Mutchler comes in motion. Hand off to Amon across the 30, and Amon will get out to the 34 yard line, picks up three more. Holding on to that football for dear life. As hands are going to be knocking it away. Timeout taken by Red River. That's their second. So with 2.35 left to go here in the fourth quarter. It'll be third and four for Valley City. From their own 34-yard line. And the Rough Riders can stop the clock one more time. From the 34. 12 6, Valley City leading. And the Highlander JV trying to go undefeated. From the 34. I'm in the lone setback. Heck in the pistol. Gets the snap. Pitches. Modlin here to the near side. Cuts the corner at the 35. And he is going to be short of the first down by about a yard. Gets out to the 37 yard line. He'll pick up three yards. Will bring up a fourth and one, and the Riders will take their final timeout. So a 2.27 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Red River is now out of timeouts. And is a fourth and one. Well, actually, we'll call it fourth and th two for the Highliners. Looks like it's a 37 yard line. Oh, we'll call it fourth and one. Looks like, hey, you just got to get to the other side of the. 38 for the first down. Line of scrimmage is right now knows the football touching the 37. So the offense and defense come out. 
from the 37-yard line. Fourth and one for Valley City. Gaden Amon, again, the lone setback. Heck, in the pistol on a fourth and one. Gets the handoff. Amon takes it, and he is not going to get it. He is going to lose yardage. Back to the 36-yard line. He will lose a yard, and Red River will take over on downs. First and 10. At the 30 about the 36-yard line. And again, out of timeouts. Valley City has all three of theirs. Maybe actually two remaining. 2.24 remaining in the fourth quarter. What a finish. On our final JV broadcast of the season. Red River, first and 10 from the Highliner 37. Inside handoff at the 35. And down to the 34. Gain of three. Brings up second down. And seven to the 34-yard line. Again, out of timeouts. As we approach two minutes left to go, second down and seven from the 34. Back to pass. Looking, rolling, near side, looking. Now throwing downfield. Has the man completed the 15 and then pushed down, but inbounds at the 13. It will be enough for a first down. A gain of 18 yards. It'll be first and 10 for Red River. As soon as the ball is set, they will wind the clock from the 12 yard line. 151 to go. First and 10 from the 12. Handoff right up the middle to the 10. And then Will Schwer grabs on for dear life and brings him down at the 9 yard line. He gets a little bit of help from Dylan Hunt. 134 to go in the fourth quarter. Second down and well, second down and about six from the four, uh, from the eight. Rolling out to the near side and coming up is Will Schwer for the big time tackle back at the 16 yard line. Will Schwer blows in there and blew that one up big time and they'll give him a forward progress out to the 15. So it is third and 11. One minute to go here in the fourth quarter. Inside a minute to go. Third down and 11 for Red River. They're at the Highliner 15-yard line. Again, they are out of timeouts. Back to pass. Rolling out. Looking. Scott Rohde chasing. Looking. Now he'll tuck and run at the 15. And he is going to be brought down inbounds. Keep the clock running. They're going to say he's short of the first down by about a half yard. So that kept the clock running. So it'll be fourth and inches here. The clock is ticking. 25 seconds to go. Or third and inches. Third down. 20 seconds to go. From the four-yard line. Movement on the line of scrimmage. That's going to be a false start. And flags fly. That is the first penalty against Red River. And it couldn't have come at a worse time. So that'll back them up to the nine. It is fourth down. They had third down, but it is fourth down. They had fourth and one. Now they have fourth and six from the nine-yard line with 16 seconds to go. Play of the game right here. From the nine. Back to pass. Looking. Throwing. Has his man complete. Hit. Short of the first down. Highliner defense comes up. It is Modlin and Tucker Johnson with the defensive play. He made the catch at the five. Was dropped at the five. And it's short of the first down. So Valley City will take over. And Neat and will come away with the win with eight seconds remaining. So again, the defense came up big when they had to. It'll be first and 10 for the Highliners, one knee, and they can wrap up the season. Got to get everybody, make sure they have their 11 guys out there. Again, it is a knee situation. There's a snap, there's the three yard loss, and that's the ball game. So the Valley City Highliner Junior Varsity team goes undefeated. 
as they win here this afternoon against Grand Forks Red River by final score of 12 to 6 to run their record to 8 and 0 on the year. And what a great year for uh, Coach Aaron Heck and Valley City. We'll be back. Take a look at our stats in this one and wrap it up here from Hannah Field. You have been watching Highlander football. We'll back with our postgame show on the Highlander Activity Network.